Innovation in aerospace manufacturing is really important right now. As we've heard today from the keynote speakers at Rolls-Royce, Airbus, and disruptor companies like Zero Avia, there's this massive change in technology in, in aerospace. They're looking at what they call third generation technologies, battery electric and hydrogen. It gives brand new product challenges, and some of those can be solved by manufacturing technologies or manufacturing technologies can help us get to better, higher performance products as we change from one platform to the next. Well, today's event is really important because it represents the culmination of what we call the Sprint projects, uh, which emerged out of the uh, COVID lockdown. Uh, we thought it was a great opportunity to invest in some real groundbreaking technology um, for the good of the industry and all industry are, are free to come access that technology. So we've been working on a project called CIRCOMP and CIRCOMP was designed to get all of the catapult centres to start working together, to start collaborating. So we're trying to build up CMC technology within the UK and independently it's very hard to do that but by utilising the manufacturing capabilities of the National Composite Centre with the machining capabilities of the NCC and the AMRC we've been able to basically take concepts from realisation to actualisation. Without research and collaborative research programmes we really cannot develop these technologies on our own. We couldn't afford to do it and we don't have the capability to cover all of these options. So looking out into the world of the supply chain and developing partnerships with companies that are more innovative than us in particular technologies and then them helping us to then look at how we apply those technologies. The key innovations at the moment are around how we develop technology that will enable new products to be developed. So efficient manufacturing is really important from a day-to-day -day basis. But actually, if you apply manufacturing such as additive manufacturing, you can change a product beyond belief that you, that you had before. So it's been great to hear the Sprint projects today talking about how ceramics matrix composites could be adopted, how additive manufacturing can be adopted, how the intelligence of assembly provides benefit. I think the highlight of today's event is really to see the comparison of, of different technologies. You know, we, we could see the sort of traditional machining, we could see additive manufacturing, we could see a casting technology. So it's good to see the development sort of ongoing in those different streams. I think aerospace manufacturing is going through an incredible renaissance at the moment because aviation has this drive to deliver net zero by 2050. There's this huge push to try and get there as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm.